everybody. It's Wednesday the 15th. Um, I'm afraid I didn't manage to record a single thing yesterday. I was at work all day. I'm quite busy and I can't film my clients and things like that. So um, I'm calling this the, <laughs> the Vlogmas Day 14 and 15 video. And the only footage from the 14th will be me showing you what I had in my advent calendar yesterday. You will have to forgive me. Hmm. I did want to say a really big thank you to everybody that has been watching along. Everybody that left me a thumbs up. Everybody that left me a comment. I really appreciate you joining in. I've missed, you know, podcasting on YouTube and things like that. So it's been really good to have this nudge to get back into it. I'm a bit behind with the comments, but hopefully I'll have some time to sit down later and go through them. Let me show you what I got yesterday. Yesterday I had a little parcel from Jenny of Owl About Yarn. That does smell nice. And it had this little scented tea light in it. It's like a Christmassy, I was going to say flavour, but I don't mean flavour. Christmassy scent. A badge with an owl on it. Is that focus? It's a badge with an owl on it. And a candy cane. I'm not sure if it's peppermint. It's all sealed in a bit of plastic. Um, there was also some Haribo, but obviously I ate that immediately because um, I have no self-control. Today's advent is another of the super cute little houses from Ruth. It's still focusing on me in the background. Focus on the house. Focus on the house. There we go. These are so cute. I don't know where Ruth managed to find them, but they're really good. <laughs> and back to me. Day 15. It is the 15th. Yes, it is. quite a few goodies in here. Ah, today's mini. Oh, that's gorgeous. Is this colourway. And the little note included said that it is by a local indie dyer by Miranda May. She's another South Wales dyer. Well, I haven't seen for ages. I hope she's doing all right. I don't know if you watch Miranda, but hi, hope the house move went well. That's lovely. I have got two chewy sweets. Oh, and another badge. Oh, that's really cute. It's a little badge that says, I can't wait to hug you. I can't wait to hug you either, Ruth. We've got a big, um, a big old house booked for a long weekend away in February for everyone that's part of my friendship knitting group, the ones that we're all doing the advents with. And we went two or three years ago, I can't remember, and we took food and we took spinning wheels and knitting and gin and it was fabulous. It was a really good time. So we booked it before we left that weekend a few years ago. We'd already booked it for the following year. We just had so much fun. And then of course, COVID. And so we just pushed our booking back. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. January is going to be hard. Um, good, but hard. There's a lot going on. Um, so it will be lovely to have that weekend as sort of a, a target to get to. Okay. Because of the, frankly, non-existence of any sort of vlog type footage, I've got a couple of things to show you. I've ended up with a big bag in the back room full of things to show on the next podcast. And I'm not going to be doing an actual podcast uh, this month because of Vlogmas. So I thought, well, I might as well just show you the things. So first of all, oh, actually, that's a rather timely coincidence this gorgeous tartan bag was made for me by Jeanette 
And when we went on that weekend a couple of years ago, um, she surprised us all by having organised little gift bags like it was a real retreat. <laughs> and she'd made all of us a bag. And um, this is my one. Um, and on it, it's got a couple of lovely pin badges. It's got Ulf the Viking on, which is from um, lovely Estelle. Uh, Midwinter Yarns, if you know Estelle. It's got the Joy of Socks pin badge, which was a present from Katrin, another one of the group. Um, and then it's got a Sparkly Don't Be a Dick badge from Jenny. Marvellous. Inside here are my rather paltry contributions for the Socks for West Midlands Ambulance Service, which is something that Jeanette from our group is doing. And I went to um, pick up one of the sock wheels that Charlie had kindly cranked from sock donations and had sent back to Ange for knitting up. And I said, oh, give me a wheel of socks and I will contribute. So I have done very badly, I'm afraid. I just haven't managed to get through it all. But I do have two pairs to send to Jeanette. Um, this first pair is quite long, knee-high socks. Um, obviously, afterthought, toes and heels. And I did um, the umbrella toe and heel, which I mentioned the other day. It's a Kay Jones from the Bakery Bears one. And I'm not sure what the main yarn is, but this lovely cranberry colour is an opal solid, opal uni colour, I think. Um, and I bought it from Angela at Yarn and Yarns. I ordered a couple of balls of solid sock yarn. So that's, that's that one. Those ends are we weaven in woven in and all ready to go and then this is oh i was looking for that darning needle i've got another pair um again i don't know what the yarn is on this um, but it's quite cheerful and i've got a blue solid opal uni color for the cuffs heels and toes um this one no they both need their ends weaving in Here's the second one, and I've woven in some of the ends, but not all of them. You can see I've got my darning needle stuck in the heel. Um, so I can need to finish this off and take them with me to work tomorrow. Then I can parcel them up and send them to Jeanette. I do have the other half of that sock tube still in the bag, waiting to be turned into socks. Um, but I am desperately running out of time. Um, so I'll finish this off at some point and send it to Jeanette and maybe she can just sneak in at lunchtime in the new year and give somebody a stealth pair of socks. And I'll leave that out actually to remind me to get on with it. The other thing I've got to show you is um, some acquisitions. I have struggled to find very much time to knit recently um, and I seem to be compensating by buying yarn. Um, my brother and sister-in-law are expecting their second child in January and I wanted to knit a baby blanket. They've already got um, a little boy. He's two and a bit. And when um, he was due, I knit a beautiful baby blanket. It's the Bounce Pattern by Tim Can Knits and I'll put a picture of it up here. And... My sister-in-law, Olga, she really loved the blanket and it was the blanket that always went with them in the pushchair when they went out and about. And unfortunately, they lost it and they were absolutely mortified. They went to an outdoor nighttime event. It might have been a bonfire night or some Christmas light display or something. And it fell off the pushchair in the dark and they didn't notice until they'd got home. And when they rang the venue the previous day, it hadn't been handed in. So... Hopefully it's still out there somewhere, keeping somebody warm. Um, but I really enjoyed the pattern. It's, um, you'll see from the picture, it's got a lace panel and then some solid garter ridges. And it's reasonably simple, but there is lace work on the back side. So normally there are a lot of um, lace knitting. There's increases and decreases in yarn overs on the right side and then you purl back down the wrong side which gives you a bit of a rest but this does have lace stitches on the reverse as well. So I decided to re-knit the lost blanket in the same colourway 
and then to knit a second one for the new baby. So for my nephew, I knitted it in this yarn and this is Sirdar Colour Wheel. It's a 150 gram ball of yarn and it's DK weight, machine washable, and I think it's 80%, yes, it's 80% acrylic and 20% wool. Um, and it's really lovely. Um, because of the quite high acrylic content, I was a bit worried about how it would work with the lace because it doesn't have quite the same bounce back as 100% wool, but it, it was really good. And it comes with a free scarf pattern, which I don't like at all, but it does demonstrate how the yarn knits up. So it's sort of very long colour repeats that would give you a colour block effect, basically. And the original bounce blanket pattern has you use separate yarn for each of the coloured lace panels. I didn't bother. I just knit continuously with this. And the previous blanket, I had this for the lace sections and then I had a cream for the garter ridges. I've decided to go with a mid grey colour this time. And this is Hayfield Bonus DK. This is 100% acrylic. This is in Granite Marl, which is shade 0593. And this colour wheel is shade 0201. I think this is a discontinued yarn. You can still buy it, but you do have to look a little bit harder. I think I got this from Wool Warehouse. So kind of darkish rainbow and grey for my nephew. And then for the new baby, which is going to be a girl, I've got shade 200. And that is these lovely pinks and purples and mauves. There's a bit of cream in there. And again, I thought that would look nice with the grey. So I think that's going to look really good. Um, and because it's a 150 gram ball, you do get a nice size baby blanket out of it. I just knit until the yarn ran out basically. Um, and it was a really good size. I haven't got any further than buying the yarn. I did this, I bought this months ago. Um, should probably get on with it really. So I need to print the pattern out again, or at least the lace chart. Um, and then I can crack on with it. Um, but I'll need to make sure I've got nice pointy needles. I'll have to use my higher, higher steels for this so that when you're doing the lace on the back, I think there's a purl two together through the back loop or something, which can be a bit fiddly. So I need pointy needles. Oh, yes, it was Wool Warehouse because it all came in one of those nice organza bags. So I will squish that back in there. And maybe make a note to print off that pattern tomorrow so I can get casting on. Okay, well I'm going to eat my sticky chews. Edit this vlog, get it uploaded. I'm back in work for a long day tomorrow. So again, I might have to do a double whammy on Friday afternoon. I'm glad you all enjoyed my trip to the beach, by the way. I thought that was a bit of a cop out, but you seem to have quite enjoyed it, which is handy. And I'll just show you my companion for the afternoon. Hey, Jim. You've got to say hello to your loyal fan base. I think he's a bit too tired. Um, and if anybody's interested, we are now on day four of having a Christmas tree in the house. Absolutely no decorations on it. So for anybody else failing at Christmasing, you can come sit next to me. Okay, right. I'm going to crack on with it. Thank you very much for watching. Do please give me a thumbs up, click subscribe. And I had a thought. If anybody has any questions they would like me to answer... Leave them in the comments down below and I'll try and film a QA and a um, later on in December. So if you've got knitting questions or life questions or gym questions or dog questions, anything at all, pop them in the box down below. Um, and as long as they're not too saucy, um, I'll do my best to answer them. Okay, I'll see you soon, guys. Bye.